good morning students welcome to online class hope you are keeping well so students once again i am with you and today i am going to teach you english literature from your reader book chapter number 8 the poem mending wall by robert frost i am wanting to teach this poem today there is a reason because this poem it is one of the finest poems or outstanding poems of frost in the field of english literature i want that you should know the content of the poem and at least you will have some idea about the poem so that when you will have the regular classes in your school it will be easier for you to understand it because this poem it is based on philosophy of frost so i am starting with this poem mending wall so guys i am going to read this poem first before you something there is that doesn't love a wall that sends the frozen ground swell under it and spills the upper boulders in the sun and makes gaps even two can pass a breast the work of hunters in another thing i have come after them and made repair where they have left not one stone on a stone but they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs the gaps i mean no one has seen they made or heard they made but at spring mending time we find them there i let my neighbor know beyond the hill and on a day we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again we keep the wall between us as we go to each the boulders that have fallen to each and some are loops and some so nearly balls we have to use a spell to make them balance stay where you are until our backs are turned we wear our fingers rough with handling them oh just another kind of our outdoor game one on a side it comes to little more there where it is we do not need the wall he is all pine and i am apple orchard my apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines i tell him he only says good fences make good neighbors spring is the mischief in me and i wonder if i could put a notion in his head why do they make good neighbors isn't it where there are cows but here there are no cows before i built a wall i'd ask to know what i was walling in or walling out and to whom i was like to give offense something there is that doesn't love a wall that wants it down i could say elves to him but it's not elves exactly and i'd rather he say it for himself i see him there bringing a stone grasped firmly by the top in each hand like an old stone savage down he moves in darkness as it seems to me not of wood only and the shade of trees he will not go behind his father saying and he likes having thought of it so well he says again good fences make good neighbors so students this is the complete poem so guys today i am not going to finish the chapter because 
I have to teach you the depth of the poem. I have to explain you the central idea of the poem or the theme of the poem or the plot of the poem. So I don't want to finish or complete this poem in a single day. So today I am just telling you the summary of the poem. What is the summary or what is the content of the poem? You should know the content of the poem first. What actually the poet wants to say through the poem? So guys, you please open your notebook. First you note down Robert Frost's period. Are you ready? You write. Robert Frost, he was born in 1874 and died in 1963. That means Robert Frost, he is the modern poet and belonged to late 19th century to early or mid 20th century. <coughs> so, the summary of the poem that is, the poem starts with a conversation between two neighbors and the plot is countryside in an European country, a rural place and there are two orchard, one is pine orchard and one is apple orchard and the conversation is taking place between the two farmers that means these two neighbors the poem is narrated by someone through the lines that means he is the narrator the poem it has been narrated by somebody he is the narrator whether he is the poet himself or the narrator. So the narrator when he reaches his farm in this countryside place he notices that his neighbor is mending a wall that means a wall between the two orchards and these two characters that means the narrator and the neighbor they do meet once in a year that means during spring the season is spring they do meet in spring to supervise their orchard and to survey the area and to inspect the wall in between the two farms that means the narrators and the neighbors the neighbor is fixing all the boulders that means the wall is made of boulders boulders you know stones big stones so the narrator is asking that why are you putting so much effort to mend the wall you are giving an intense effort to fix the boulders accordingly then the neighbor he replies because I want that fencing this fence should be strong if the fence is strong then the relationship will be good between the two neighbors and if the fence is weak it will fall down and there will be no boundary then relationship is spoiled between two neighbors. That is why I am building or mending the wall and fixing the boulders firmly that there should be no hole even between the two boulders. Then the narrator he wonders uh, because of his reply so one more question he throws he says that spring it is spring 
and now all the trees will be covered with sweet fruits juicy delicious fruits and what would you or what will you do with the branches you cannot control the branches of the tree i have pine orchard you have apple orchard the cones of my pine tree it will cross the border it may cross the boundary that means the mending wall that wall it has been mended or it, you are going to mend and your apple trees branches may cross the border then what will you do you cannot control the nature you are not going to cut the branches of the trees or neither i am going to cut the branches of my pine trees then the neighbor he is kept quiet because he has no logical reply thus the conversation it is going on and the poem is in a form of conversation question and in answer form questions those are thrown by the narrator answers are coming from neighbor side some humor and wit those are also there the poem it is based on humor and wit and the poem it ends with a tone of satire in the end of the poem the poet says through some lines i am going to read once again those lines please listen to it carefully what are the what are those lines he will not go behind his father saying and he likes having thought thought of it so well he says again good fences make good neighbors here in the concluding part of the poem you will go through the lines that he will not go behind his father saying and he likes having thought of it so well he says again good fences make good neighbors so the narrator once again he is asking that why you are injuring your fingers because you are placing the boulders those are not of same shape some boulders are round some boulders are shape of loaves loaves mean bread some are hexagon some are squares so the neighbor he is having lot of difficulties to place those boulders in their own places or fix those boulders in a proper manner and for that his fingers he is getting injured but he is doing because he wants to say that if i will or if i fix a good fence between the boundaries then we can maintain a good relationship between us if we will build a good fence then we can maintain a sweet relationship between two neighbors or between us good fence will not cause any conflict any tussle between the neighbors so that is why i am mending the wall between our two plots or farms that is his reply so the repetition of the line good fences make good neighbors there is a philosophy of robert frost through the character of the neighbor so here frost has presented the neighbor 
as the mouthpiece of his own so these three lines once again i'm reading he will not go behind his father saying the poem concludes with these three lines that the neighbor he only following he is only following his father's advice 